Have you seen Korean drama? Which one do you like? This is Tarai Korea. I will discuss with you the famous Korean drama of 2020. Itaewon Class is a drama that been shown in JTBC and the lead actors is Park So Jun and Kim Dam Lee. The story of this drama is based on the very famous webtoon of the same name, Itaewon Class. The story follows the lead role's journey to achieving his dream in setting up a restaurant in Itaewon. It was premiered last January. The second one is Hi by Mama by TBN. It's the first drama of Kim Tae-hee in almost five years. And the lead actor is Lee Kyung Yoon. This drama is a fantasy drama focuses on a mother who passed away because of an unfortunate accident, but was given a chance to be with her family again for a limited time of 49 days. It was aired on February. The third drama is It's Okay Not To Be Okay in TVN or in Korea the title is Saiko Ichiman Quenchana. The lead actor is Kim So Yoon and So Ye Jin. It was aired last June. The story of this is a romantic drama that tells the romance between a caretaker at a psychiatric ward who does not have time for love and a successful children's book author who does not know the feeling of love. I also watch this drama and every night together with my children we were enjoyed this drama. The fourth is Record of Youth on TBN. It was aired last September and the Korean title of it is Chung Chun Hiro. And the lead actor is Park Po Gum, Park So Dam, Byun Woo So, Kwon So Yun. I know maybe some of you know Park Po Gum, and I also like Park Po Gum. So the drama follows the lives of three young people in the contemporary fashion industry. They strive to achieve their dreams and love without despair. One thing that I didn't much like in the drama, it's, it's very slow moving and it's always bringing back what was already been shown. But all in all, I like it. The fifth is the world of merit. Or in Korea we say, Kubue Sege. It's very one of the famous or popular drama here in Korea 
especially with the adult. It's quite scandalous and some of the talk or the issue is not suitable for young audience. It tells the story of a married couple who betrayed of one another leads to a real wind of revenge, grief, forgiveness, and healing. It was aired last March. And the lead actress is Kim Hee-e. And the actors are Park Hae-jun and Han So-hee. The sixth is Startup. As you know, Suzy or Pe Suzy and Nam Juyo are the lead actors of this drama. The same Korean title was already as is already given and was shown on TVN. As of now, it is still airing in Korea. The story revolves around a woman who has dreams of becoming an entrepreneur like Steve Jobs. A man who is secretly her first love and another man who is pretending to be her first love. It was started showing last October. Next is The Tale of Nine Tailed or Kumihodon. The lead actors are Idongo, Joboa, and Kim Bong. It is aired on TVN and was premiered October this year. The story of this is a Kumiho or a nine-tailed fox named Lee Yeon which is portrayed by Idongok, abdicated his position as a mountain spirit of Hektudegan to search for a reincarnation of his one true love, which is Aun. He followed her soul up to the Samdo River and gave her the fox bead as her mark when she is reborn again. Next is the King, Eternal Monarch. In Korean title, the King, Yongwone Kunju. Of course, the lead actor is Lee Min-ho, or Lee Min-ho. And the supporting actress, or the actress, is Kim Go-un. It was on air on SBS and was globally being watched in on TV last April. The story is a fictional modern day kingdom called Korea. The series followed Egon, the son of previous king, who assassination of his half brother, following a coup, and then twenty years later after being saved by a mysterious person during the coup. Now, Emperor Li Gon crossed a magical barrier and sets foot into an alternate reality where instead of his kingdom, the Republic of Korea exists. Next is a medical drama the second series of Dr. Kim or Namdang Dr. Kim Sabu Yi in Korea and it was shown last February. As you know, it is a medical drama wherein the actor Yo In Shi, Han Suk Kyu, and Hyo Sok, Lee Song Gyeong, and Kim Jong-un were the lead actors. So what is the story? This is a three years following the event of Dr. Romantic Kim Sabu. 
where he is come from a Chosun University Hospital to recruit a general surgeon. He finds So Ujin, which is Ayun So, a doctor with a troubled past who is ostracized by his fellow doctors and offers him the job. In the meantime, Cha Unde, Yi Song Gyeong's portrait, is suspended after making another mistake in the operation room and has no other choice but to follow the two doctors to Doldam Hospital. The last is Backstreet Rookie or in Korean title, Pyeonhee Jong Set Pyori. And the lead stars are Kim Yoo Jong and Ji Chang Wook. I really like Kim Woo Jung, so I tried to watch this drama. But it's not really the drama that Kim Woo Jung is uh, excel. So what is this drama all about? It is a runs of group female high school introducing Jung Se Pyeol, which is Kim Woo Jung's portrayal, who look like troublemakers. Set Bill asked Dae Hyun to buy them cigarettes from a convenience store, but he buys them candy instead and gives Set Bill his number. She never calls him. Three years later, Hyun runs a small convenience store after resigning while looking for a part-time job. So he works the night shift at his convenience store. Setbyul applies for the job and start working there. So which drama have you seen? Or which drama would you like to see? I hope you will enjoy the drama as I do. Here in Korea, the drama only has 16 episodes or mostly 20 episodes. So each drama only lasts for about one and a half months. So every time, there are a lot of K-dramas that is being produced. Korean doesn't like to follow a long drama, unlike in our country. So I hope even though the drama is so short, you will enjoy it. And please comment below which drama would you like to watch. Maybe I can give you an idea what is the story of it and who was portrayed for that drama. So this is Tara Korea. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you will enjoy watching K-dramas. This is Tara Korea saying to you, Temige bayo! Enjoy watching! Sarangyo!